addressed today is alienation. And let me right at the outset define what I mean by alienation. It's the cry of men who feel themselves the victims of blind economic forces beyond their control. It's the frustration of the great mass of ordinary people excluded from the processes of decision making. It's the feeling of despair and hopelessness that pervades people who feel with every justification that they have no real say in shaping or determining their own destinies. After I started, I forgot again all about self. I wasn't conscious, I wasn't uh, nervous in the sense of what are these people thinking of me. By that time I had been committed to saying what I wanted to say. If automation and technology is accompanied as it must be with full employment, then the leisure time available to man will be enormously increased. This being so, then our whole concept of education must change. The object must be to equip and educate people for life, not for work, solely for what I'll use in false morality that underlies these attitudes. A rat race is for rats. We are not rats. We are human beings and people insult us when they talk about our participation in a rat race. Reject the insidious pressures in society that would blunt your critical faculties to all that is happening around you, that would caution silence in the face of injustice, lest you jeopardize your chances of promotion and self-advancement. Because this is how it starts. And if you start before you know where you are, you're a fully, a fully paid up member of the rat pack. The price is too high. It entails the loss of your dignity and human spirit. Or as Christ put it, what doth it profit a man if he gain the whole world and suffer the loss of his soul? I'm going to miss him terribly. an intellect far beyond we ever thought. Jimmy Reed has made every one of us a better person. Be inspired as we were inspired. Jimmy Reid was born in Glasgow in July 1932. He grew up in Govan, in a community of working-class shipbuilders. Govan still retained a strong socialist identity, a remnant of the early 20th century political movement known as Red Clydeside. Like most Govan boys, Jimmy left school aged 14 for a shipbuilding apprenticeship. From these humble beginnings, Jimmy Reid would emerge as a true working class hero. Her education was football, his education was a govern library. He was never out of there. And of course that education gave him an intellect far beyond we ever thought. It was as a teenage apprentice in Govan shipyards that Reid joined the trade union movement. Reid's Red Clydeside heritage led him to join the Young Communist League at the age of 16. Four years later, in 1952, he was their chairman and would visit the USSR with the intention of seeing his beliefs in action.
In the late 1960s, Reed returned to shipbuilding in Govan to support his family. He brought with him developed socialist ideologies, which would be so instrumental in the coming years. The 1970 elections saw the Labour government fall to the Conservatives. This signalled a new approach to British industry. Following the costly public bailout of Rolls-Royce in early 1971, the Tories proclaimed that there would be no more subsidies for lame duck industries. Later that year, the Upper Clyde shipbuilders asked for government help to keep their yards open. They were refused. With thousands of jobs at stake, Jimmy Reid and his union colleagues took unprecedented action by ousting management and uniting the yards to stage a work-in. There will be no cooperation, and this is what we're putting for you, with this board. No cooperation. That we close the ranks as a united labour force and tell them they're not on. Reid's rhetoric won over the workers, the public and eventually the Conservative government who relented with a £35 million bailout to stem the collapse of the shipyards. This has been an inspiration now to be involved in this fight and to know that there are so many millions of good, decent people in Scotland and in Britain. That's, I've, I've always known they were there, in a sort of theoretical sense. I, I now know, because I've been all over this country speaking at meetings, I now know it's a fact. Jimmy Reid became a household name and would go on to inspire a generation. He was elected rector of Glasgow University in a move honouring him and the governed workers. is that of rooting out anything and everything that distorts and devalues human relations. Reject the values and false morality that underlies these attitudes. A rat race is for rats. We are not rats. Reid stood as an MP several times, but was never elected. In later life, Reid remained an activist, committed to his socialist and nationalist ideologies. But responding to changing party lines, he transferred his loyalty from the Communists to Labour and eventually to the SNP. I am very proud to be a Scot. Um, I am nationalistic in that sense. I love my country. Kenneth Williams, of course, to expand... An award-winning journalist and broadcaster, Reid remained in the public eye to the end, uncompromising in his passionate beliefs and his love for the Glasgow Clydeside. Jimmy Reid died on August the 10th, 2010. On the day of his funeral, the streets of Govan were lined with mourners, honouring the passing of one of Scotland's most beloved and influential sons. <laughs>